and and then there's this little shallow pool, and everybody says, "Oh, don't go over there. You'll never catch a fish over there." One morning, I just moseyed over. You know me. <laughs> I didn't even have a pole. I had a string and a hook and a couple of worms in my pocket. <laughs> I dropped the string into this little shallow pool and. Bingo! I caught the biggest fish you ever saw. Boy, the folks around the lake, they couldn't believe it. Hank and Stoney and Slim and Doc and Perky and... Spud. Spud! <laughs> they threw us a big party in their cabin that night. The folks around the lake sound right friendly. I'm serious this time, Maud. I rapped with God up there. And then this miracle happened. This deal with Popeye Kling opened up. I can sell my business and invest in that lodge. We gotta move up there, Maud. We gotta. <laughs> Walter, please, not again. There you go, doing it to me again. You've known for years that I've had this need to get out of this concrete jungle. This stifling existence, keeping up with the Joneses. But you don't care. You're killing me, Maud. You're killing me. <laughs> well. Walter, I have two words for you. Flock! Wang, 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 wang. <laughs> Arthur, Walter would like to see you in the kitchen. Oh, and Arthur, I love the Helena Rubinstein on your cheek. <laughs> is the worst. This is the worst. I mean, it is bad enough that I have to put up with his little games year after year after year, but this time, going into partnership with Mr. Bigfoot at Lake Titicaca. <laughs> do you know what I ought to do this time? Do you know what I ought to I ought to teach him a lesson and call his bluff. This time I should tell him, yes, we'll sell the business. Why don't you? You are right, Vivian. You are right. I am going to tell him that we are moving up to the wilderness where our nearest neighbors have four paws and bury their nuts in the winter. <laughs> There's something else I want oh, to tell Walter, you, Walter. Wait, wait. I have something to say to you. Walter, forgive me. I didn't mean to step on your dream. Oh, Walter, how could I have been so... Thoughtless, so selfish to impose all this comfort on you. <laughs> I am going with you to Loose Tooth Lodge. <laughs> Loose Tooth Lodge, stop humoring me, Maud. I'm not, darling, honestly. But I'll tell you, we cannot procrastinate, Walter. We must strike while the iron is hot. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I am going to put the house up for sale. You call Henry Jenkins. You know, he's been trying to buy Findlay's appliances for years. Let's call Mr. Jenkins right now and tell him you're selling the store. <laughs> Uh, yeah, information, Rigo Park. Yes. Jenkins, Henry. No, I'm sorry, I cannot look through the directory. I'm at an orgy and some clown is fogging up my contact lenses. <laughs> yes, I'll hold on. No, Maud, no. No, Walter? Vivian, this might be of interest to you. It seems that Walter is changing his mind again. Walter, why won't you let me call Mr. Jenkins about the store? Because I already did, and he jumped at the chance. Maud, we're going to live in the Canadian wilderness. Walter. <laughs> you did it, Maud. You did it. I told him it was a deal if I could talk you into it. But I didn't have to. Mm. Arthur, why are you here? <laughs> Blocked by my own wang 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 wang. <laughs> 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 <laughs>